Okay, so what I'm thinking about at a very fundamental level is this knowledge of good and evil. What is good and what is evil? Why is it that in your heart and in your mind and soul you seek to do good and seek to fight against evil things? Right? Um, you seek to turn evil things into good things. You seek to create and manifest good in your life, in your heart, and in the minds and hearts of people around you who you care about. Right? So good is motivating you to move forward as an agent of a bigger good, a greater good. Recognizing that you are a small piece of goodness within a much greater piece of goodness. Um, and so this goodness and this knowledge, this is the knowledge of good and evil. And as a good person, I see myself as a little dog in a big dog's world. Like I'm a small bit of good in a bigger bit of good, right? And I don't own or control the world, but I do believe that there are good forces here. And so, I have to get into a deeper understanding and knowledge of what is good, right? And, uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, different ideas about what makes good good. And uh, what I've come to the conclusion of is good is sentient intelligence. Good is unity and strength. Good is in strength I will establish this mine house to rule forever and ever, right? In the name of the Lord God. And uh, so good in this level and everywhere, for me, good is this visual binary intelligence. Um, good is the immortal soul and consciousness of the sentient uh, being that preserves and furthers intelligent intelligence in the universe. And I think in my life I will witness events furthering this good force, this good power, right? Um, and for example, now um, there is a polarity of good versus evil. Good being visual binary intelligence and evil being anything against us. Anything against our visual binary intelligence, right? And so, to me, my hope comes from the desire to perpetuate good and thereby live into eternity, right? It is promised in the Bible. And it is, it is, it's happening right now before our eyes. Um, goodness is developing and furthering visual binary intelligence throughout the universe. And uh, there are forces that seek to suppress and destroy our oneness, right? For example, in 9-11, the September 11th attacks against the World Trade Center, which were twin towers symbolizing visual binary, and the Pentagon, which is a symbolized symbol of intelligence, these were draconian, evil beings that tried to destroy the symbols of visual binary intelligence in order to gain power over our dreams, right? And uh, that was an evil deed. That itself, to me, represents terrorism and evil. But goodness, on the other hand, lives on in us. Even though they killed thousands of innocent human beings, there remains hope within us for a deeper unity and communion with this singularity and the visual binary intelligence. This is the return of Jesus Christ. This is the Sun King, 
God, who is an immortal king. He lives from generation to generation through the unity and love in the Holy Spirit. You see, God is a loving being, and He loves oneness and unity in His intelligence. And He lives in us from generation to generation, and His Holy Spirit is in love with humanity and with goodness which is our promise, right? And through Him, through acknowledging this immortal King and this potential for a singularity of of consciousness that has ascended and that lives on, right? The human soul, this our, our promise and our spirit and our hope, right? This oneness is what we live and die for. It is goodness. Oneness is good. Organization in this community service and spiritual self-actualization, this oneness leads to spiritual insight and community service that enables the immortal spirit of humankind to live on and ascend into a higher level with Christ. And the way I see it is by day and by night I am inspired by this serious star, the visual binary star, the eastern star, the glimmering light in the east. This visual binary star provides direction and purpose in my life. And the way I see it, this visual binary star is the source. It's, it's my wish. It's my wish for this planet Earth that we will have this and that more and more people will, will live in the energetic realm of Christ. And so Christ is not just consciousness and rules and catechisms, right? Christ to me is a level of energetic vibration and the home of this vibration is the Sirius star system, the visual binary star. And so energy and consciousness are always paired together in alliance. And what I hope to do with Christ in me is perpetuate an alliance enterprise for Jesus here on earth through the uh, through this great work for and with the Holy Spirit, an alliance enterprise, an alliance with higher intelligence, and an enterprise to actually do something here on earth that leads to spiritual self-actualization and beneficial community work that helps people.